Hello, we're going to do something different with grid drawing today. What I have here is a mirror that is showing the other side or the reflection of it. So it's making it symmetrical. What you have to do is draw it symmetrical using the grid process. So instead of drawing the same thing with the little diamond here and then having this part on this side, it's going to take it and flip it over. So this one is a little bit trickier, so I do suggest that maybe you use post-it notes to help cover the sections up. Do number them, but notice it's going one, two, three, and each one's working outwards. Yet the top and bottom, when we would number, would still stay the same. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So over here, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So remember, this is going outwards the same numbers, but when we go from this way, they stay the same numbers. One thing that I like to do is also, if it starts getting confusing, you could be making X's in this so you know not to put something there. So let's just start here at the bottom. And like I said, we could cover some of this up just so we're not seeing it yet. So we're at number two right here, and it actually is on two again. So what shape is this that we need to draw? A square, yes. So we're just going to draw our square here. I've also given us some guideline dots so we know where to go. So looking at this, it's starting here on the center axis line, and now it's going outwards, but it's going outwards and up to the left, so here it's going up to the right. So we could also look that it's between the one and two, it's between the one and two, and it's on the three, four. So now we have that drawn. Let's just look at where this one is placed. So I'm just gonna hold my finger here to help me count. And it looks like it's in number four. So this is number four right here. It's three across, so number four. And it looks like I'm just going to draw a square again. And remember, grids are always drawn in squares, so this is making it easy for us to help get the size placement of these. So since I've finished and nothing else is drawn out here in this section, I'm gonna move my post-it note up. And you can move it up one at a time if you want. I like showing just a little bit so I know where I'm going. So right here, it is a vertical line just to the next one, and I made us a dot. So if the dots are not given to us, what I could do is just be like, where's this at? It's at between one and two, so between one and two, and then between the four and five, between the four and five, and I would make the dots myself on these things. So connect it vertical, and then it's over two. So this goes left on this side. I have to go right on this side. And this post-it note's blocking the next few things I need to do, so I'm just gonna lift it up and move it. And remember, if you don't have a post-it note, you could always just find another piece of paper and cover your items up that we're drawing. So here I was at the four three, the four three. Now I'm going to this spot. It's at the spot that's between the four and the five, at the spot between the four and the five, and between five and six, and I'm gonna make my dot. So this goes up this way. I need to go up the opposite way, remember, on this side. And before I do the rest of this line, I'm just gonna draw this part. So it goes from the center, one, two, three, so it's between the four and the three. One, two, three. So if I needed to mark on this to count because it is our practice, we can also mark on this. And I'm gonna make a dot there. So I'm gonna go over and make a dot. But I could also be like, it's between here. So yes, I have it. 
Now I'm going to make my horizontal line, just those three spaces. And then this also looks like it goes up somewhere. So what I could do now is lift my post-it note up just a little bit so I know where I need to go. And I'm just going to stay on the same part. So it goes up one. And now from here, it's going back this way to the center. So from here, back to the center. And we didn't get this earlier, so I'm going to go back so I didn't forget it. And this square is found right where 6 is. So I'm going to go where is 6 at. And it's on the 5. And I'm on the 5. So right here is where my square is. So I'm just going to hold my finger there so I know where to go. And now I have that. I'm going to... We could just go ahead and go for this one. So this is not drawn as a square. It's more of a diamond shaped. So I'm going to look at where these corners are for this. So between the 9 and 10, between the 9 and 10 would be in this. Between the 6 and 7. So between 6 and 7 and 9 and 10, I need to make a dot. Also, on that 9, 10 line, between 8 and 9 is the next dot. So I'm still on that one. And also I could count 1, 2. 1, 2. It's between the 8 and 9, between the 8 and 9. So there are the dots for that one. Now what we need to find is this dot. So it's between the 8 and 9. 8 and 9, but where? Between the 7 and 8, between the 7 and 8. So there's the dot for that one. And then this is 1, 2, 1, 2. But I'm also going to see like, oh, it's on the edge of the 10. And the edge of the 10 and then I would connect them. And then I'm just going to move my paper up and continue working. One, two, three, one, two, three. If I wanted to write inside of these to help me find this placement, that is also okay for this because it's the practice. And I'm just going to work my way down this time. So I'm here. I gave you guys some guidance points. So we can see it's a diagonal down and to the left. Here it's a diagonal down and to the right. Straight down. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm going to go, because I'm right here, I'm going to go over to there and draw my line. And then this looks like it's in 10. I'm in 10 still. And I need the dot between the 4 and 5. Between the 4 and 5 on 10. Make my diagonal line. It goes down 1. And then I'm here. I'm just going to find where this is. So between the 7 and 6. Between the 7 and 6. And make my line. It's down to here. So that's between 7 and 8, between 7 and 8 on this one, which is 7, 8, 7, 8, make my line. And then this goes inwards, looking for this spot, between the 4 and 5, between the 4 and 5. And did I get everything here? Nope. I didn't, so now I need to find these again. So this one is right here in two. So right here in two, I need to make this square. I'm gonna look where this one is. So this is four and four, and then it's 12 and 12. So here, and then we have this one that we don't want to forget. So it's in 10. And it is in six. And now recheck. Do I have everything this time? And you could go through and look at them to just make sure I got that, I got the diamond, and I got that. So on to the next page. So this is also just another symmetrical. Notice what is different is there's no numbers on this one. 
like what this was. So you need to number it yourself. And I would start here and just number one and work my way this way. And that goes to nine. So now I'm going to go over here and go to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here I'm just going to start with the one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I wrote the one where the nine is, so that's where I'm going to write it here. Oops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you will just continue drawing like you did. If you think the post it notes helped you, then use those. Uh, numbering like what I had done on a couple of these that's also fine if you wanted to even put these same numbers up here again you could do that I find that easier sometimes just so you have placement of everything and don't have to keep looking down here all the time so remember this is one and going this way think of these as your negative numbers if you're doing math And then you would draw things out. And the same with the next page. It's not numbered, so number your areas out. Count your squares. You also can kind of see how this does some stair steps in different areas, but then it goes back inwards. So just pay attention to the placement of things when we're doing this. And then this one is also not numbered, so do your numbering. And then this has a lot more of the diagonal line, so pay attention. Is it going across two? Is it going across one? If we look at this, it's actually three across, so just notice which way the placement of the lines are also. And remember that we're mirroring all of our objects. Thank you for watching.